A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Lone Silver! Let's go, big fellow! I'm Silver! The Lone Ranger had maintained a steady gait for several miles as he followed a well-marked trail toward a meeting place where Tonto was supposed to be waiting. As he rounded a bend, he saw the trail blocked by a large gray horse. The man in the saddle held his hand high in a signal to halt. Oh, Silver, hold on. Hi About time you showed up. Is it? I've been waiting more than an hour for you. Oh, you have, huh? It's all right. You needn't be so all fired cautious. I can prove I'm Bart Saber. You're Bart Saber. I know why you're here to meet me. <laughs> they told me you was a slick one. I guess there's no one can put anything over on you, is there? Why do you ask? Huh? Do you want to try to put something over on me? Me? Gosh, no. I was sent here to watch for you and tell you that everything's all set. The boys are waiting over at North Pass until Captain Carter shows up. I see. Just what's going to happen to Captain Carter? What? Didn't the boss tell you how things were set up? Did he tell you? Yeah, sure thing. How do I know you weren't stationed here to make trouble for me? What? You say you're Bart Saber, but you don't prove it. Well, if you want proof... What's the game? Well, I... Come on, speak up, or I'll drag you to the boss by your heels. Now, get proddy, I'll tell you. Oh? The boys will waylay Captain Carter and take him to a hiding place we got picked. They'll hold him there until he sends for the plans you wanted. I see. I hope you brought the cash to pay for him. Don't worry about payment. The boss wanted me to meet you because he said you didn't want to see the captain face to face. He figured if you didn't wear a mask, you could wait in the woods until he was ready to turn the plans over to you. So Captain Carter is to be captured, huh? Yep. He'll be interested in hearing about that. Huh? I think you'd better go along with me and tell him. While you're at it, you can tell him the name of your boss. What the... Hold it. See here. Put that gun down. You can also tell him the name of the man who is ready to buy army plans. Boy, you... I'll take that gun before you get careless. Draw slow and hand it to me. So that's it, eh? There you are. I picked the wrong man. Yes, you did. <laughs> Is 
it funny to you? <laughs> yeah. It's funny to think of how surprised you'll be when you find out that my pal has stepped from the bushes to cover you from the rear. Am I supposed to turn my head so you can jump me? It don't matter. Oh? Come on, Snake. Show yourself. You always were a jumphead, Buck. You just take it for granted the first masked man to come along the trail is a man we're waiting for. I can see why you're called Snake. You better give Barty's gun. While you're at it, hand yours over, too. Well, I have a better idea. I'll toss Bart's gun to you. Catch! Hey! Take this, too! Oh, my hand is Come fighting. here, Bart, out of that saddle! Hey! Come on, kill him! Get him! Shoot him, Snake! Stop him! Can he smash my hand? Where's my gun? Where'd he throw it? Right there! Grab it! Drill him! Get that gun! Uh, he's gone. He cut through the woods. He's out of sight. Confound it all. All the downright cussed luck. Get that, ratted fool! Why'd you blab so much before you knew he wasn't the right one? Don't yell at me. Why didn't you get him? You had the drop on him. You saw what he did? Sure I saw what he did. Tossed my gun to you. You moved your eyes for a split second, and that is all he needed to bust your gun hand. Oh, it hurts. You just wait. You wait till the boss hears about this. Nate Morgan will be plenty mad. Hello, are you ready to move? Uh, me, be ready. What matter? I've learned about a plot against Captain Carter. Uh, him army captain? Yes. Uh, steady, steady, Scott. Steady, He's Carter. to be captured. They've got to circle back and cut him off before he gets to North Pass. Uh, be ready now. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Well, this is the trail to North Pass. Uh, right. I don't think a horse has used this trail recently. It not look that way. Uh, why crooks want army, Captain? I don't know, Toto. Someone is ready to pay those crooks if they can get certain plans from the captain. Army plans? Probably. In just a minute, someone's coming. Let me look around the boulder and see who it is. Maybe Captain come now. You see him? Yes. The captain, probably Carter. Get ready. How do you know about plans? The crook named Bart Saber mistook me for the one who was to pay for them. Oh. Almost here. We'll give him a signal. Yeah. Now. Right up there. Hey, what? Cover him, Tonto. Hold there. Hold there. Hold there. Let go. Look at that man. If you think you can get easy, with... Captain. We're friends. Friends? If this is your way of showing friendship. Now, listen to me for a minute. Mask. All the Please nerve. dismount. I'll dismount long enough to find out more about you and that Indian. You are Captain Carter, aren't you? I am. Well, you'll find that we're not nearly as dangerous as the men who are waiting to stop you at North Pass. Huh? What's that? Someone is after certain plans to which you have access. Plans? So they are important. How do you know of them? Because I was mistaken for the man who was to pay for them. Hmm. You were to be captured and held until you sent for those plans. What are you planning to do with me? Well, that depends on you, Captain Carter. I propose to remove my mask, disguise myself, change clothes with you, and go to North Pass in your place. You think I'll permit it? I think you'll have little to say about it. Well, I... Careful. Careful. I hope you'll be agreeable. I'd hate to use force against a brave soldier, even though it's done to help him. How do you propose to help me? By going to North Pass in your place. And permitting these men to capture you? Yes. Captain, those men have some means of making you do what they want. They can't make me surrender the plans. They're quite confident. Now listen to me for a minute. And I think you'll be convinced that I should take your place. pass, the trail was hemmed in by dense undergrowth that made it easy for two members of the gang to crouch in hiding while they waited for Captain Carter. Hey, mate, I think he's coming. Uh, someone is coming. Wait a minute. I'll have a look. Did you see him? Yeah. It's an army officer. It's your man. I always had it right when they said he'd come this way. I wonder if Snake and Bart met that gent that's paying for this business. I don't know. 
I wish I knew who the gent was. <laughs> What's the difference as long as we get our cash? Yeah, none, I guess. Now get ready. He's coming close. I'm all ready. I'll fire one shot into the air. And we jump out and hold guns on him. Right. He's getting close. Get set. I'm all set whenever you make the first move. Come on. Then we are. Rain up or we let you have it. Keep your hands inside. Go for a gun and we shoot. What's this mean? Never mind the questions. Get off that horse. Get that rope left here. Hey, get her all set. Now, wait a minute. You don't know who I am. You're a carter of the army. Yeah, this will hold you for the time. Take that rope off me. Save you it. Have it. Pull it good and tight, Lefty. Yeah. Nate Morgan and Lefty Brent, huh? Both wanted by the law. <laughs> the law is too slow to get us. Got that rope tight? Yep. And I'll take his guns. Why are you capturing me? What do you intend to do? You'll find out soon enough. Here, Lefty, you take care of one of these guns. All right. Keep an eye on them. I'll bring out the horses. If you think you'll get away with this? Just take it easy, Captain. You and your daughter will both be all right. My daughter? Yeah. (laughs) We saved you the trouble of going all the way to Fargo to meet her. What do you mean? We're taking you to a cave. She'll be there. You've captured her? Yeah, we've captured her. And it'd be a shame if you got so stubborn that we had to kill her. She's too downright pretty to die so young. Disguised as the army captain, the Lone Ranger soon found himself in a large cave... He saw the men who had originally stopped him and was gratified to find that neither Bart nor Snake identified him as the man who had worn the mask. Now then, Captain Carter. Just a minute, Nate. Uh, we got to tell you what happened where we were waiting. Save it till later, Bart. But I get my hand shot up. I said and... save it. That goes for you too, Snake. Yeah. Go on to the back of the cave and bring out the girl. I'll go. Captain, I'll get right to the point. We got a certain dispatch case full of plans over in your quarters. We want it, Savvy. And what if you don't get it? Oh, we'll get it all right. You see, we brought your daughter here to make sure of it. You seem to have been misinformed. You see, I have no daughter. Don't try to make us believe that. We got her right here in this cave. Here she is. Take the gag out of her mouth so she can talk. All right. Is that the girl you brought from Fargo? Yeah. And we know who she is, so there's no use trying to say she ain't your daughter. But she's not. Never saw that girl before. Who lie about it? I'm telling you the truth. There. Now you can talk. You beast, vile, scheming crooks. <laughs> now, now, you just calm down and take a look at your paw. That man? He's not my father. I never saw him before. Does that satisfy you? That's pretty good acting on the part of both of you. I'm supposed to think we made a mistake in getting the wrong girl. You, what's your name? Sally Carter. <laughs> there, see? The girl may be Sally Carter, but I'm not Captain Carter. Now, listen, mister. You'd better be Captain Carter, or this girl will suffer a whole lot of pain. You're capable of anything, aren't you, Nate? We aim to get that dispatch case that's in your headquarters. But you are mistaken. That man's not my father. He can't possibly get the case. No? It's no use trying to carry on any longer, Sally. Huh? These men will kill you. You bet we will. Well, what do you want me to do? You give us a note, and we'll send for the case that holds those plans we're after. And you'll release us when you have the case? Sure thing. <laughs> How do I know you'll keep your word? You don't. That's the chance you got to take. Suppose I do write an order for the case. How will you get it? You write the order, and I'll take it to the garrison myself. Very well. I'll write it. You'd uh, better get my own note paper from the saddlebag. We already got it. It's right there in the ground beside you. Untie his hands, Lefty. Kino. <laughs> Trying to tell me you weren't Captain Carter. That's a good one. Yes, it uh, was a good one. I'll be sure you write the order so I won't have no trouble. Because if I don't get back here with that dispatch case inside of two hours, the boys will take care of you and the girl. You know what that means. Now start writing. The 
curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Continue our story. The Lone Ranger, disguised as Captain Carter, was held by crooks in a cave. In the meantime, the real Captain Carter wore some nondescript clothes from the Lone Ranger's saddlebag as he waited with Tonto on the trail. Oh, good man, over face. He help you make it tight. Uh, I hope your friend is right in his assumption. <clears throat> what that? He wasn't sure those crooks would send someone this way with a note. Him sure crooks want dispatch case. Yes. You not have it with you. Only way crook get it is to send a garrison for it. Wait, someone's coming. There. That's tight now. You get on horse. We go meet fellow who come. You remember plans. You ready? I'm ready. You come. Get him up, scout. Get him. Get off that horse. Now, wait. Come on, hit the ground. All right, I'm doing it. Uh, make it fast. What's the idea? What do you want of me? I got nothing worth stealing. Uh, we see. Keep your hands where they are and we see what you're carrying. You bother me and you're interfering with the business of the United States Army. Very interesting. It's true. I'm on my way to the garrison with a message from Captain Carter. Is this the message? Yes, it is. You better leave me be. I'll see if you're telling the truth. Watch him. Uh, me watch him plenty close. Me go through other pockets. Now, look here, Injun. I've got no cash you in my pockets. You keep quiet. Bad rat, you hide. You'll have the whole United States Army down in your neck. Uh, you let me go, you'll be sorry. You got no cash? You didn't find any, did you? Maybe you got it in saddlebags. I haven't. You can see for yourself. Wait just a minute. This man does have a message for the garrison. I told you I had. Signed by a captain. Oh, that'd make it dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to interfere with Army details. Oh. Here. Take this message. Getting smart, huh? Give him back his gun. Uh, yeah, you take it. Thanks. And to shove on now, huh? Yeah, go ahead. We don't want you. Not while you're on official army business. Good thing you showed some sense. Get up there. <laughs> I, uh, never played the part of a highwayman before. I do all right? You do all right. You get message? Yeah, here's the message he was carrying. <laughs> He now has the one I'd prepared for him. Well, that good. It was easy to make the switch while you held his attention. Ah, now we wait here. We see what happened. If those men in the garrison will only follow the instructions I gave them. Who's Captain Carter's dispatch case? All right. Thanks. Oh, lock, eh? The captain has the key to open it. I see. I hope he's uh, enjoying his visit with his daughter. Yeah, I reckon he is. Please give him best regards from the garrison. All right. I'll tell him. I got to shove on. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get up there. waited near the mouth of the cave, watching for their leader. They paid little attention to the Lone Ranger and Sally, who sat far back against the wall. That's how we learned of the plot to capture your father. Father's been terribly worried. 
There have been several attempts to steal his dispatch case. It's worth a lot to someone. I don't know who. It holds all the details of troop movements for the new Indian campaign. Oh, so that's it. Some of the Indian leaders would pay high for that information. Yes. Tell me. Yes? Why did you come here in my father's uniform? Because your father had to be free to act. <laughs> Quiet now. Snake's coming this way. I'll just check on the prisoners, Bert. How's your hand, Snake? As soon as we're through with you, I aim to find that mass critter that drilled me. As soon as you're through with us? That's what I said. Aren't you going to let us go when you have the dispatch case? Let you go? You think Nate wants you to bring the whole United States Army down on us? He promised to let us go free. <laughs> he promised. Then he had no intention of keeping his word. Nate's no fool. Oh, there's room for doubt about that. Well, he ain't fool enough to let you go. Now, let me see if those ropes are still plenty tight. Oh, they're tight. Yeah. Let me see your hands. You're all fools to think you can get away with anything like this. Hey, Snake. Now we only got about ten minutes more to live if Nate don't show up. Hey, listen, Captain. That note you gave Nate had better do the trick. I wrote what you told me to. Nate should be back by this time. You heard him tell us what we should do if he didn't get back in two hours. But he hasn't been gone two hours. Yeah, he got ten minutes more. Then if he ain't here... As far as we're concerned, it can't make much difference. They're going to kill us anyway. There's a lot of difference in dying fast and going slow and painful. Oh. Snake, someone's coming on your hooks. Watch careful. If it's soldiers, if there's anyone with Nate, let me know. Right. Have this gun already in cock. If there's any sign of a double cross, the girl gets a first bullet. Steady, Sally. I, I shan't be afraid. You see him, Bart? Yeah, hey, he's coming along. Has he got the dispatch case? Case. We didn't find a key when we searched him. We we're looking for one. All we were looking for was a gun. Ty's hands. I got a knife right here. I'll cut the rope. So you got the dispatch case, huh? I got it all right. You'd better be able to open it. There. Your hands are free. Well, uh, what if I don't have the key? We can smash the lock if we have to. Go on, open it up. I might as well, I guess. But you stand ready to fire three shots. Three shots? For what? That's the signal that we got the plans. As soon as we fire three shots, the gent that's buying them will come here with our cash. Is he nearby? Yeah, near enough to hear gunshots. You hurry it up there. Don't take all day unlocking that thing. You'll have to be patient. There's an inner compartment that has to be opened, too. There. You got it open. All about the inner compartment. Just a minute. Is he trying to stall for something? He hadn't better be stalling. Bart, go to the mouth of the cave and keep watch. Make sure no soldiers followed me here. Stand where you are. A gun. Hold it. Why, you... Oh. Now, both of your hands are out of commission. I'll show you. Oh. You got him. Mark, he got my shoulder. There are more bullets here. If you want them, just signal by dropping your hands. Reach your fight, fool. You brought them again in that dispatch case. How was I to know? Snake wouldn't believe me when I said you were a fool to try to get away with anything like this. You ain't in the clear yet. Sally, lean over this way so I can cut your ropes. There you are. Oh, thanks for dropping your knife, Snake. Oh, my hand. Just a minute now. There, one more. There you are, Sally. Rub your wrist. Oh, thank goodness. Why didn't you bust that case open and see what was inside? You shut up. You'd have done the same thing as I did. Someone said it would take three shots to bring the man who's to pay for certain army plans. I'm ready to fire a third shot. Any of you want it? I don't. Don't look at me. Draw your gun, Lefty. No, no, I, I ain't going to draw against you. If you draw very slowly and carefully, I'll not fire at you. But, uh, but if you draw fast, or don't draw at all. I, I'm drawing slow. Drop it right at your feet. Yeah. Thanks. Now your turn, Nate. See, I'm collecting hardware. Yeah. All right. Here's my gun. I'll let the ceiling have the third shot. That should bring the man who wants to buy the plans... Sally, will you pick up the guns those two dropped? Of course. Wait, don't cross in front of me. Jump him! Get his gun in hand. That's it, kill him! Get his gun and kill him! Hell, saw me! I got him around the neck. Grab his gun. The girl's locked out. Don't worry about her. Bust his arm. 
Then he's there back the bus, and he'll drop the gun. Yeah, drop that gun. Not yet. Oh, if I didn't have two wounded hands, I'd fix him. Show him to the floor. Now. Ah, that's a scout. I hold his arm out straight. I'll pound his fist with my heel. Then he'll let go of that gun. Go ahead, Lefty. Ooh. Push his arm out. we got to get that gun from him. I... I can't push his arm down. He's caught up. Never mind. Just try Got a better idea. I'll give him my heel in the face. That'll fix him. Go ahead, Snake. Smash his face in. I'll teach him to shoot me. Hold it. Uh, what? what the... He got Snake. He fixed you too? No. Why, you... Oh, no. you... Oh, hear more. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh. oh. Hello. Hello. That's enough. Them hurt you. No, I, I'm all right. See about the girl. Sally. She, she was knocked out. I don't think she's badly hurt. Oh, yeah. Sally, darling. Yeah. Are you all right? Poor fellow on the floor. Bart is conscious, but out of the fight. Huh? Shoulder stopped a bullet. Ah. These three unconscious. I think Snake is dead. I think he is. I fired to kill him. And me hit other two. Where am I? You're all right, Sally. Everything's all right. A mask, man. Oh, no, no, wait. I'll take the mask off. I'm I'm your father. Oh, Dad. That mask was part of a plan to stop Nate and switch notes. The note he took to the garrison instructed my aide to put a gun in the dispatch case. But the man in your uniform... It was his idea. Where is he? Right here, Sally. Oh, do forgive me. I was so stupid. I gave those men the chance to jump you when I stepped in front of your gun. It's all right. Your father came in time. We followed Nate back here. Hey, what's going on here? Stand where you are and don't move. Huh? Hey, you ain't tied up. No. But come right in. We're expecting you. And you're not Captain Carter. Here I am, Larkin. Captain Carter. Oh, it's you who wanted the army plans, huh? You know him, Captain? His name is Larkin. He was drummed out of the army for dealing with enemy Indians. Now, wait, I can explain Planning to sell us out, huh, Larkin? They seem to have made a mistake in coming here. Biggest mistake of your life. Your pals are all out of the fight. We'll take you into custody with them. You have nothing on me. Rope him, Toto. No, no, you can't. Got him here. Let me go. You have nothing on me. You can't. There'll be plenty on you when Nate and his gang are able to talk. You hard to handle. Then quiet him down, Toto. I won't be taken. No, quiet. No. (laughs) Come on, Toto. Captain, we'll meet at camp and exchange our outfits. Adios. Adios. Oh, golly. How that Indian hit Larkin. Mm. My dear, that was nothing compared to the way he hit Nate and Lefty. He thought they were hurting his friend, the Lone Ranger. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.